historic landmark here, the last known blacksmith, George Gabarino's facility iron mill. To the SAP pavilion here where the sharks play, his deposition also entailed that his family for 10 to 12 generations used to apprehend behind his facility here Coho salmon, Chinook salmon, and steelhead rainbow trout. 2013, after evicting the homeless, I went out there and proved that the fisheries were still there. You'll see my catch and release segments on endangered steelhead rainbow trout in the hundreds behind his facility here. Currently, the exciting news is this is three years in a row adult salmon have utilized these areas and the hatch out period and the immersion of young juvenile fry chinook watershed a mile and a half upstream enjoy the film again these are the exciting uh, things happening on cleaner streams at the same time we have a lot of problems that is occurring within our streams about abandonment yeah. about this you to clear, clear, and they were down. I used to just stand on the bank here and watch them. the trout swimming. Yeah. And the water's pretty deep, below. and that's where the salmon are now. Within George Gabarino's historic site, all size classifications from two to three to four to as large as 12 inches, as many as a hundred were observed. Catch and release scenes. There we go. Here he is. A little steelhead. And this is the phenomenal thing happening on Los Caros. The water quality and the gravels. We just need to keep the homeless out and we could have an abundance of uh, endangered species within downtown San Jose. Within 2006, cold rhythm spells to 2013, numbers increased in lower river systems all the way to the areas out of the tidal influences downstream of Trimble Road and Montague. The severe drought of 2014 to March of 2016 extirpated the steelhead rainbow trout from lower river systems and they have not been seen ever since. Flash discharge of killing millions of other species along with steelhead and Chinook salmon. Go trout, go on, be free. There he goes. Awesome. This is what it's about. Steelhead population growth was astonishing through the 2007 through 2013. Little steelhead trout. I'm going to measure him right now. Flows to come up on Los Gatos Creek. Remarkable stuff. Go on, be free. Be free. I have another one. There we go. This one's 8 inches or so. Here we go. So we got Los Gato Steelhead. While the steelhead rainbow trout have not returned since the recovery of the drought, with the cold rhythms we expect populations to grow again. In the next scene is the miracles that are happening with the juveniles emerging out of the Chinook nests. Observing the fall run of 2019 and following and filming fish on two major river systems, Guadalupe River and the Los Caros Creek, and filming females and other, other males. These are two females that have recently just laid down their nest. Hey, this is Roger Castillo reporting to you on the salmon hatchout period uh, during the March time frame. 2020, I'm at in between Santa Clara Street 
and the light rail bridge in downtown San Jose on Los Gatos Creek. And we're observing the hatch out of juvenile Chinook salmon. Uh, real exciting. They're in the thousands, but at the same time, uh, we have a lot of problems down here. And uh, here we have uh, a few. Observing the hatch out, Chinook juvenile salmon. Are the conditions that are down here currently so much trash but yet baby chinook salmon are thriving on los gatos creek here and there is a good school of them underneath the garbage Within the same region, 20 feet away from the Santa Clara Street Bridge, shallow refugia where the populations were a little larger in shallow areas. Just downstream of the light rail transit bridge, 100 yards upstream from the last scenes and finding hundreds of juveniles swimming within deep pools and spread out within a 30-foot radius. Juveniles singly swimming as well, but getting the numbers is quite difficult. SSRG estimates are that there could be as many as three to 4,000 juvenile Chinook spread out between two bridges, the light rail and Santa Clara Street alone. This is not including upper reaches a mile and a half upstream. Upstream, a couple of hundred yards, new posing 
ongoing threats. These hazardous materials are being thrown inside the stream underneath San Fernando Street as homeless disassemble electric vehicles like scooters and bikes and toss, off, toss into the water these items that look like 12 gauge shotgun shells are actually lithium batteries. Highly toxic. A mile and a half upstream on Los Gatos Creek in the vicinity of the Hamilton Bridge crossing over Los Gatos Creek. The populations are quite large and the conditions are still holding very favorable for the baby fry Chinook. As you'll see in the scenes coming next, the indicators that these are juvenile Chinook are the oval shape par markings along their bodies. Their spots are very easily observed as the same as rainbow steelhead trout. As I venture down to lower, lower Los Gatos Creek regions and finding them in very shallow refugia, feeding uh, very quickly within the quicker moving water, uh, darting around, ferociously eating whatever they can, it was very exciting to observe this and enlightening to know what the future holds for these young juveniles coming back as adults. Observing the juvenile fish mixing with other species to protect themselves from predators is one of the important key elements that helps them as well as being able to dart and hide under enormous amount of cover. Here you have baby fry chinook intermingling with roach minnows and uh, just shows you how diverse our watershed is in numerous other species of fish as well.